Good day, everybody. We're out here getting to it. We're out here in uh, Bakersfield, in between Bakersfield and Fresno, like 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes away from Bakersfield and about the same, like an hour, maybe the same distance away from Fresno. Um, we left Las Vegas. We bopped up from Las Vegas, went to um, Palmdale, and they didn't have any empty totes for us when we got there, so we bobtailed here. So we're heading to go pick up a preloaded trailer. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get one. If not, we're gonna be, we did a whole 805 mile round bobtail uh, for Amazon, so. We're going to see what's going on. Yeah, buddy. Let's get to it. This has been a wild trip. I want to say it's been an easy one. Oh, look. There's my Amazon buddy. He got my trailer. That's why I don't got a trailer. He can take my trailer. Now, I've been driving... almost 24 hours empty just driving around to different facilities which has been a little different you know I stayed at this uh, usually I stay across the street at that flying J over there but I haven't been here since I worked for the small uh, the company I left made trucking for it was a small company out of Fresno California uh, every time I used to go back to the yard to pick up my checks, I used to stop here and finish out the, the route. I even picked up some meat or some type of uh, dry van goods. I made a le left here on Peace Ave. Um, yeah, they had some dry van goods that I uh, picked up once before. <laughs> Sorry, just waking up. Just getting to it, guys. I missed you guys. I got some other videos I was trying to drop, but uh, I'm always trying to bring you guys quality, quality videos. So I'm always... Uh... Oh, dang, I need to get over it. Oh, man. Hey, can I, can I get in front of you? Yeah, thank you. videos but I don't know I'm just gonna start posting some are gonna be good some are gonna be in but they're all gonna be me on the road baby we're out here getting to uh, this is the last contract or the last leg of a, uh, a solo three contract three block contracts the last block this contract it's been kind of iffy earlier um, I had to call down the ROC because uh, they tried to make me deadhead not bobtail deadhead from uh, Las Vegas to Palmdale and I wasn't having it because if I would have bought that's like a hundred and something dollars in fuel and I would have bobtailed from there to palm down and there's nothing there. But anyways, I caught it early in the morning, probably like five hours, six hours before my shift started. And uh, I got lucky, I actually got a, a ROC rep who actually knew how to take care of it. They didn't give me any, any problems, I just let them know, hey, my domicile is here in Las Vegas and I'm supposed to pick up something here to take somewhere but you guys have me bobtailing or deadheading over 200 miles so um, they 
tried to give me an empty. There wasn't any empties available. They asked me, you know, what's the closest yard to you? I gave the closest yard, LAS 7. That's the one I don't mind picking up, uh, picking up at because they're, I go to that Maverick right there. Um, so there's no empties anywhere over there. So they gave me a bobtail to uh, Palmdale. When I got the Palmdale, I was like about three hours early, four hours early. Um, but they didn't have any empty totals for me. And they didn't have any empties for me either. So, so yeah. So I uh, did my little tricky trick thing, I guess you can call it tricky trick. I, uh, cause I'm empty, I'm, you know, I'm not empty, but I'm bobtailing. Instead of me driving all the way to the destination and then hitting done, I just pressed, uh, you know, help. The app is not showing that I'm at the location and then I got some good sleep here at the, uh, at the Loves. That's about 20 minutes away from my pickup, so. So that worked out in my favor. But when I first started, they had me going 900 and something miles, which would have sucked because, you know, I, this contract that took for 13, anything under 1,300, do not touch it because you can end up going over 900 miles. They had me like at 900, almost a thousand mile round trip. And that, that would have been like under a dollar 80 a mile, been like a dollar 70 something a mile. That's with fuel surcharge. Um, you know, I've been, I took one contract for 1500 They gave me like 1800 you know, um, and it equaled out to be around $2 a mile, 206 a mile, which is not enough, but it's enough to, I guess, live paycheck to paycheck if you want to look at it like that. Um, you know, it's enough to keep grinding through this time we're in. Um, anything under two dollars a mile is really, really tough. You're going in the hole. You're not making any profit. I mean, you're not making any money. You're especially not making enough money to uh, for any if any mechanical things go wrong right now, my business is done. Or it could be done. You know, I took some steps and I made sure I got a couple of business credit cards. But if you're a new uh, new authority or if you have a new LLC or whatever, they're not going to be giving you business lines, at least not enough to fix parts. So, you know, I got lucky. This is like my third year doing this. So I got a business credit card just for maintenance and for fuel because I have to pay for everything up front, all the fuel and everything. So. So that's the only thing that's keeping my nerves at calm is that I know if anything goes wrong, God forbid, I can put it on credit and pay that off, but I'm going into debt to uh, keep my business going. So I say that to say this, if you guys are doing contracts out there with the uh, Relay, if it's 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks, you're better off doing the load board. You're, you're better off doing Amazon load board or the DAT load board. Um, and at least trying to fight for that over $2 a mile mark, you know, $230. Uh, but $1.80 going into California, out to California, it's expensive. They, you know, the charges rack up every quarter. You might not see the charge, you know, right then and there when you're picking up that load, but when you go to pay that IFTA, when you're paying that $200 to uh, whatever that Clean Air Act thing, and you know, there's a lot of stuff you have to pay for just to go into California. Um, but yeah. Make sure you don't take too cheap of freight. I, I can't say don't take cheap freight because that's all that's out there is cheap freight, but you know, don't go into the home. You see contracts out there for a thousand, eleven hundred, and it's a solo three or solo two, three blocks. I wouldn't touch it because you're, you know, yeah, your truck 
is moving, but you're going into the hole, man. You're not making any money. Well, well, well. I'm going to end it there, guys. Make sure you don't take cheap freight. Is what I wanted to say. And uh, we're about to go get this load.